Hello, all my beauty people. Today, I want to continue on with anatomy and physiology. We're going to be talking about organs. So let's get started. All right. So the first thing that I want to do is I want to just backtrack just a little bit just to kind of review over what we've been talking about. My last video, we talked about tissues. The first video was structure of the cells. And remember, I told you in that video, remember cells of the same kind become tissues. Tissues form together to become organs, achieving a specific function. And groups of organs that are together to achieve a specific function as well become systems. That's unfortunate, and I will say, like in the older textbooks that I've taught out of, anatomy and physiology used to be a really long chapter. And so I'm relieved that it is shorter, but also some of the things that you may need to know, the points were cut out. Um, as far as like organs, for example, you'll find that on pages 117, 118. Really, it's on 118, it's on a chart. And I guess my point is they don't really break down the organs how they used to. It's very short and simple. So that's just one takeaway that I don't like necessarily. Um, another thing I wanted to tell you guys really quick is just bear with me, please. I know I haven't uploaded anything in a few weeks, but um, I do remember that I'm supposed to be doing haircutting uh, part two the solid haircut I wanted to show you guys how to do the front and then I also wanted to show you cutting permed hair and then um, I have a whole bunch of videos I have a lot of videos coming it's just think I got like 16 years worth of stuff that I want to show you on videos but my point is Please just bear with me and know that when I say I'm going to show you something, sometimes I may be a little slow to move on it because things come up, but I will show it. Now, back to the organs. You'll find the chart, the actual chart, and it's um, a list of systems, and then it'll tell you what organ is in that system. Now, the first organ they're talking about is the heart, which you will find the heart in the circulatory system. I do believe when you find the circulatory system in this chapter, which is chapter six in the Milady's textbook, it describes the heart a little bit, but not as much as it used to. So for instance, the heart is the size of a clenched adult fist. Now we used to always wonder, and when I say we, I mean me and my students, does that mean that there's a standard fist size and everybody's heart is the same size or is it the size of their own fist and we all have different size hearts so that I can't clarify for you I just know that's what the text says that it's the size of an adult clenched fist which isn't that big if you look and it on average should beat 65 to 80 times a minute and in anything elevated past that your heart rate is up <clears throat> and then um, anything below that it could be beating a little slow now that's yeah 65 to 80 times a minute I think in some texts I've taught out of I want to say pivot point I'm not sure if it's 65 to 100 times but I know um, when you go and get your blood pressure checked and stuff if your heart rate is 100 it's elevated so 65 to 85 times per minute the next organ is your stomach and your intestines, which is part of the digestive system. So what I could tell you about the stomach um, and your intestines is that it's all breaking down the food for your body cells to function and so that they can grow, repair, and reproduce themselves and be strong body cells for your body. Now, digestion, and I'm not going to get too far into it, we'll talk about it when we go over the system, really starts in the mouth and the salivary glands that's kind of liquefying your food so that it can go down and go eventually into your stomach to be liquefied by the hydrochloric acid. So if you ever see a picture of a real stomach, 
it actually looks like little volcanoes are in there and they're shooting up this acid and that acid dissolves the food but that's why you need to chew your food well so that it's not so hard when it's going down in your digestive tract to digest and it's liquefied to like swim through your blood to get to those body cells to nourish them so they can grow and repair themselves and be able to fight off viruses and not be destroyed so that's really what that's for um, your next organ is your endocrine glands and hormones and that's part of the endocrine system so hormones you could think of um, your thyroid which is a butterfly gland in here um, the thyroid gland is very important if you don't take care of your thyroid and you let it get out of balance there's hypothyroidism there's hyperthyroidism you could lose your hair you could gain weight you could not gain weight you could have a stroke you could have a heart attack your entire body could be out of balance from that gland there you have your pituitary gland here which is responsible for growth so these are all part of the endocrine system that goes through your bloodstream as well uh, the next one is kidneys liver and skin and that's part of the excretory system so if you remember in your uh, skin the integumentary system we'll talk about that more but remember I told you that your skin was considered a system because of the glands so what glands are in your skin sweat and the oil well what does sweat do sweat when it's mixed with the oil actually produces what's called an acid mantle for your skin to protect it from bacteria getting inside of your skin so that's one uh, but your sweat glands excrete waste out of your your body through your skin right um let's see i think i'm saying um too much kidneys filter through your blood so they're getting all the waste out of your your blood you can think of those as little filters and when they're not working properly you have to be on dialysis where a machine filters your blood out for you so you have to really take care of your kidneys and your liver actually gets toxins from your digestion and so that's how your liver can blow up really big cirrhosis of the liver where um, you drink too much alcohol and it's pulling those toxins out from your digestion to get rid of that and if you keep toxifying that or, or you know feeding your liver the toxins from your digesting the alcohol it can swell up and it can kill you all right the next one is muscles now i have to tell you this this was never said before in the other text i don't remember them saying that but it is it's organs and it's part of the muscular system what do muscles do muscles actually make up 40 percent of your body weight which is almost half of your body weight uh, they give cushion so they cover your bones they give you shape they help with movement and that's functions of the muscles now when we get to the muscular system i'll describe what the muscle tissue looks like because there's different muscle tissue and that kind of stuff um, the next one is the brain and the eyes and that's part of your nervous system so just remember the nerve tissue runs everything you can rest assured the nervous system runs everything because your brain is the control center of everything so everything that i'm saying to you right now is because of my brain if it's shut down there's nothing that i could do or say the next one is your reproductive organs and that's part of the reproductive system where you make mini me's you have your lungs which is part of your respiratory system and then you have bones which is part of your skeletal system and we all have 206 bones in our body and our bones are responsible for movement flexibility and shape 
Because just think if we had no bones and we were skin with all these organs inside, we would look like blobs moving around. That means our eyes would be going down. Kind of reminds me if you've ever seen Casper. I don't know if you guys remember when he was trying to become a little boy and his eyeball turned like an egg and it just kind of ran down. Well, if we didn't have our skeleton, like the sockets for your eyes, your eyes would not stay in one place. Nothing would. And it could be dangerous. So, I think that's it for now as far as organs go. And I really hate that I can't give you more of a description. But I'm assuming because remember, the Milady's textbook is the number one source for state board that that's all you need to know so look over that chart on page 118 and it breaks down the organs now when we get to the systems i'll tell you a little bit more detail about these things but uh, and that'll be next the next video on anatomy is your systems and that's when we really get into the memory portion of it Please remember if you have any questions, if you have any comments about my videos, if you want to know anything about State Board, any way that I can assist you, I will do that. That is why I make these videos. But in the meantime, I want to thank you guys for your patience. Thank you for your support. Thank you for watching my videos. God bless you all. And I will see you next time. Yeah.